Hello welcome to our channel. In this video we are going to learn about threading in Delphi FM XOR Fire Monkey. We are going to create a program to demonstrate a few scenarios in which the use of Delphi threading features. And at the end of this video we will demonstrate how to use this thread for downloading an image from the internet. And in the next video, we will discuss how to use it to create an application to download multiple files in parallel and also change and implement it in the checked application in our previous so, video. So, what is a thread in computer programming? A thread is a sequence of instructions within a program that can be executed independently of other sequences. Each thread has its own stack, which contains information about the thread's state, as well as its own copy of the processor's registers. All right, let's just get started. As usual, we need to create a new multi-device application and select blank application. In this video, we are going to use sleep method to simulate some long running operation. First, let's add a memo and add a button to the form. On this, we just add sleep method and put 1000 which means 1 second. We will not use thread on this event. And then add a new line in the memo. Let's run it. If we click the button, we can see it freeze until the code finish executed. Now let's add another button and let's replace the memo with a list view. I think we do not need the memo at the moment, let's delete it. Let's modify this as we now using a list view. So just add a new item to the list view. This second button, we will use thread to add an item in the list view. Just write T thread and select create anonymous thread. This creates an anonymous thread. In response to a button click event, the thread created in the moostered method is called, which creates a new thread object and assigns a procedure to it. The procedure itself is defined using an anonymous method indicated by the begin and block without a name. Within the procedure, there is a call to the sleep function, which pauses the execution of the thread for 1000 milliseconds or one second. This simulates a long running operation that could potentially block the main thread and make the application unresponsive. To update the UI with the results of the operation, in this case adding a new item to a T-list view control, the thread synchronized method is used. This method takes two parameters. The first is the thread. That needs to execute the synchronized code, in this case is the current thread. And the second is the procedure. 
that should be executed in the context of the main thread. Finally, the start method is called on the thread object to begin executing the procedure in the background. Since this is an anonymous thread, it is not assigned a name or stored in a variable, so it cannot be explicitly terminated or accessed later. Let's run the application. You can see the difference between with thread and without thread by clicking the button several times in turn. There is another way of doing this by using task. In Delphi we have task in the system threading unit. So we need to include this unit in our uses statement. Let's add a new button. Just copy this code and paste it to the new button click event procedure. Then modify it so it uses task. Looks a red marker when I write task, that means an error. I forgot to add system threading unit, so let's add it. Looks better now. We also do not need start for this task, so let's delete it. It's time to try it, let's run the application. Try to click the button and see the difference. Actually, you also can add a t-stopwatch to measure the code execution. I hope this can give you an initial idea of how to use threads. Next, we will try to use this method to download files on the internet. Let's add a tab control and create a tab item. And then from structure windows, move all previously added UI component to the first tab item. Set the line property of tab control to client. In the second tab, add a memo, t image and button component. Before we create download button event procedure, let's create a new method or procedure, name it as download image. We have to declare this procedure in the private section. Add a memory strain variable. This will be used to store the downloaded file.
a new tmemory stream object named image data is created to store the image data. We need to add the net HTTP client component. The net HTTP client component is used to download the image from the specified URL into the Imagidata memory stream. Load the T-image from the memory stream. Finally, the Imagidata memory stream is disposed of to release its resources. We use the T-task class to download an image from a URL in response to a button click event. The task run method is called, which creates a new task object and assigns a procedure to it. The procedure itself is defined using an anonymous method which indicated by the begin and block, without a name. This is not correct. The download image procedure will be called from main thread. The tthread synchronized method should be used to execute the image loading code on the main thread, since updating the UI from a background thread is not allowed. The correction is that we need to load the image inside the tthread synchronized method. Next, there is a call to a download image function that takes the URL of the image to be downloaded as a parameter. The URL is from the user entry to the tmemo component called mURL. Copy the image address from this website. Paste it and click download button. The file is downloaded and the image is loaded successfully. Next let's add a loading progress indicator. We use any indicator component. We need to add a procedure called loading. That is used to enable or disable a loading indicator control any indicator 1 in a thread-safe manner. Within the loading procedure, there is a call to the thread synchronized method, which ensures that the specified procedure is executed in the context of the main thread.
The procedure itself uses an anonymous method, indicated by the begin and block without a name to set the enabled property of any indicator 1 to the value of the is enabled parameter that is passed to the loading procedure. Just call the loading procedure here, before, and after the image loaded. OK, let's run the program. Next, let's arrange the layout so that it looks better. I add two, or maybe three layout components, and then move the T-image, memo and the button inside the layout. To arrange them, just follow as shown in this video. Also at the end of this video, we will run the program on an Android device.
So far we only run it on Windows device. Now let's run it on Android 60 for bit. I got linker error. I need to check the SDK configuration and start from there to troubleshoot this kind of error. Yes, there is some missing configuration for Android 60 for bit. To fix it just copy the same from the Android 32 bit. Yes, it's now compiled successfully. I have not shared the phone screen yet. Let me share the phone screen and try again. It works as expected. The use of T-Task allows the download operation to be performed asynchronously, meaning that it will not block the main thread and cause the application to become unresponsive. This improves the overall performance and user experience of the application.
Thank you for watching this video. We hope that you found it useful and thought provoking. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.